Okay, so I wanted to make a quick little video about um, aircraft jacking because uh, the pictures in the uh, PowerPoint aren't the, the clearest, so I figured I'd bring up some better images. So let's first of all talk about this type of jack. So whenever you have, let's say, a, a one wheel or one tire that went flat uh, or a brake that needs to be changed, you're probably not going to jack the whole aircraft. You're just going to jack one wheel at a time. This is the type of jack that's used for that. Now you can also, some aircraft you can use a, a floor jack. Uh, this is called a, what they call a, a bottle jack. But one of the most important considerations that you need to think about when you jack an aircraft with this style jack is make sure that you chalk the other wheels. That's putting those like uh, triangle wedge, wedge shaped blocks around the other tires. So that way when you jack one tire, the aircraft doesn't roll on you. So make sure you chalk the other tires. Um, Make sure that the jack is of capacity to lift that uh, area of the aircraft. Uh, make sure you rope off the aircraft and that you check, check for obstructions around the aircraft so when you jack it up that the aircraft wing doesn't contact something. Remember, when you're jacking the uh, wheel down here, the wing's going to come up also. So uh, that, that's one thing to make sure that it's clear. You always want to, if you, if you can help prevent it, um, jack in a closed hanger so you don't have uh, issues with wind blowing the aircraft uh, off the jacks and you should put a um a rope around the aircraft uh, like a streamer and, and label that the aircraft's on jacks and that prevents somebody from not realizing it's on jacks and hooking a tow bar to it and trying to to drive off with the aircraft with, without the wheel on there so it just it just prevents accidents um the other type of jack i wanted to talk about is this one it's called tripod jack now with this type of jack, these jacks are not made to jack just one, one main tire up at a time or one nose tire up. This one's made to jack the whole aircraft. And to do that, you actually need a, a person on each jack to, to operate the jack itself. And then you need a, a so, and most of them, most aircraft require uh, three of these jacks. Some aircraft even require more than that. But uh, a lot of your, your smaller and corporate size aircraft and even a lot of the major aircraft only uh, need three of these. These are called tripod jacks because of their shape. Uh, they only need three of them. But even though there's only three jacks, you still need someone, uh, fourth personnel, to always make sure the aircraft's level. That's one of the critical things on a on a plane when you're jacking the whole aircraft up. You want to make sure it stays in a level attitude so that it doesn't uh, tip off the jacks. Always make sure you're reading your uh, maintenance manual procedure. When you're jacking an aircraft because if you're not reading the procedure you might miss a step uh, that's crucial to the aircraft like for instance some aircraft require the doors to be closed or uh, some aircraft require you to pull circuit breakers uh, before you lift the aircraft some require you to install uh, pins in the aircraft um, landing gear so it doesn't inadvertently retract uh, there's a lot of uh, precautions jacking is not a, a, a procedure to take lightly a lot of damage can occur in a very fast period of time and also uh, injury uh, to personnel if you're not uh, doing it properly um some of the things with this type of jack basically how this type of jack and even that one how they work there's a little screw right here that's the the basically you turn that either clockwise or counterclockwise if it's clockwise then this thing's set to build pressure so you put the handle right here this handle comes off and you put it right there and then you just pump this jack up and then this thing will uh, extend right there. Um, if you want to let the jack down, you use the, the same jack handle and you put it on there and you turn this screw to the left or counterclockwise and that'll let the pressure uh, relieve out of the, the jack. So they're, they're pretty simple on the operation. But one thing I want you to know about is something called a safety collar. This thing right here, as this jack comes up, you always want to rotate that safety collar and keep it down because what ends up happening is if this jack would have ever uh, fail, uh, or something go wrong with the jack and it loses its pressure all of a sudden, it won't be able to come down if, if the safety collar is all the way down. So that safety collar is very important that you that you make sure that that, uh, that is all the way down um, when you're using this jack. And also there's a pin right here. Make sure that pin is installed correctly when you're jacking an aircraft up so that way it that also helps the jack from not coming all the way back down. So again, this is tripod jacks. It takes a minimum of uh, four personnel. Um, and also, uh, one of the critical things is to make sure the aircraft stays level and to make sure you follow the procedure. On this one, again, one of the critical things is to make sure you chalk the other main tires uh, or nose tire, whatever you're jacking. Uh, but only jack one tire at a time. Let's say you had 
both brakes to change, maybe left and right main brakes. Don't lift them both with these. Do one side, get it completely done, put the aircraft back down, and then use one for the other side. If you do want to change two brakes at the same time, it's not a problem, but that's when you need the tripod jacks and you jack the entire aircraft. This is made for one wheel at a time. This is made for the entire aircraft, and that's called tripod. I just wanted to give that explanation to you guys because I couldn't find a really good YouTube video that explained all that stuff. Uh, there is another YouTube video I want you to watch, but at least I have my own video to help uh, explain this information uh, since I'm not on campus to show you. Normally, I teach this with the equipment and we do a class project where we jack the aircraft, but unfortunately, we won't be able to do that this year. But don't worry, you will get the experience jacking an aircraft in um, Airframe 2. All right, guys, thank you for watching my video.